so your Tesla could actually charge with a regular wall adapter, 110 volt wall adapter. But it'll take three days for you to go from zero to 100. My Tesla Model 3 long range has 70 watt kilowatt hour capacity. It's a massive capacity for sure. An electrician came and put a 32 amp charger in my car and that will take about a little less than 10 hours from zero to 100%. Tesla also sells a 48 amp charger. I think that's almost $500. That way you could charge your car probably less than like seven hours or so, pretty quick. If the charger from Tesla is sold out, sometimes it's sold out because of the demand. Or if you have a Tesla and another EV, then I'm gonna recommend this charger from Electron. So this charger is a 48 watt charger. You could plug it into the 1450 and get 40 amp. That produces 9.6 kilowatt. And to fully charge your 75 kilowatt hour Tesla Model 3 long range, it'll take a little less than eight hours to do so. You could hardwire, have an electron hardwire this into your system and that will give you 48 amp. And so 48 amp for a house is the maximum. You could charge your car zero to 100, probably less than six hours or so. But electron is great because if you happen to have other EVs or you're planning on getting another EV uh, in the future, like a different brand, then this will charge all the other non-Tesla brand, it's kind of funny, right? Tesla has their own charging system and every other brand shares the same kind of charging system. So it's kind of funny, everyone against Tesla, but with third-party chargers like this, it'll give you an adapter that'll allow you to charge both Tesla and a non-Tesla EV car. Let's open this up real quick too. So one thing about charging, your Tesla Model 3 standard that's got the newer battery, it likes to be charged to 100% all the time. But if you have a long range or a performance, just likes to be charged at 50 to 90%. I keep mine charged at 80% most of the time and charged to 100 every once in a while when I knew I got that long drive. Elon Musk even said, don't go 100, just go 90, 95 and let the regenerative brake work because that 100% regenerative brake doesn't work because it's already full. And real quick guys, I do have this Tesla sexy t-shirt on sale. Link below, and if you do buy from me, thank you so very much for your support. I already love the way this looks. Look at that. That is amazing. Look how beautiful that is. Unscrew all four screws on the sides to take out the bracket. If you're planning on using the NEMA 1450 plug, then you have to unscrew this little cover. Then make sure the selector is on number three. Screw the bracket onto the wall, then mount your Electron V-Box Level 2 EV charger. Then screw all four screws back to lock it into place. So I decided that I'm gonna keep this Electron including my regular Tesla charger because my regular Tesla charger will charge at 32 amp. This will charge at 40 amp using the same NEMA plug. If I was to hardwire this into the circuit breaker, then I could get 48 amp from this thing also. And let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, I get so nervous plugging that in. Cool thing is there's a power button right over here. Let's turn that on. Boom, look at that. That's a cool animation. Look at that. That's dope. Just looks nice. So make sure that you get a Tesla adapter. So that way you could put the adapter in front of it. Now the downfall is that it doesn't have a button for you to open up the uh, port. So you have to manually open that up. I love that animation. It shows that it's charging. That's a cool little animation right there. Definitely check out this Electron. They are all about charging and they're a good company. So. If you guys are looking for an awesome charger, look no further, right here. I will have the discount code link below. If you guys use the link to buy the charger, then I appreciate you so much. And guys, leave a comment, just say what's up. Uh, it'll help me out with the algorithm. If you have any questions, I would love to answer it. And I will see you next time. Ooh, that's nice.